All right, welcome kindergartners. Um, today, you are going to need a black crayon um, and a scissors. And then just kind of uh, to make sure you're on the right point or right step, you should have this done, which is your background that we did last week. Um, so a nice blue sky and a field of uh, maybe flowers and uh, grass. And we'll come back to this uh, in the following week. Today we are going to focus on the non-painted side, which has our bears. Um, and what we're gonna do first is take our scissors and cut out the head and the two body pieces. Um, and when we cut out the head, we want to cut, once we get to here, we wanna go around the ears. So the here and around the ears. Um, you don't want to follow this line because you'll end up cutting off the ears. Okay, so make sure when you cut, you cut, cut, cut. When you get to the ear, you go around the outside, around the outside, and then back down. All right. All right. First thing I do when I cut is I like to divide this into three different pieces of paper. We have three different um, parts of the body here. So once I have a smaller piece of paper, it's a lot easier for me to cut. Um, I also like to, and you don't have to do this, but I like to go kind of around the outside and save the middle part um, to last. And whenever I feel like I got too much paper that's hanging off, I might cut that off. Okay and all scraps can be recycled. You wanna do your best to stay on that line. Um, when you're cutting, that is truly the reason why we do all these cutting projects. It's not really about making bears, it's really about getting you guys again to um, use some of our um, skills that we're gonna need, um, which are cutting and gluing and um, even tracing because it helps build our brain um, and our eyes and our hands in fine motor, uh, motor control. So the fun part now is after you cut out that body um, part, you can flip it over and kind of see what that texture is going to look like. Um, we all took that fork maybe and um, put some texture on here. So now you get to kind of see what these are going to look like um, after they're cut out. So now I'm going to do the next two. that one and if you end up with a part of your body that doesn't have paint on it um, and it really bugs you maybe it's just left white paper um, feel free to take a brown crayon and you can color that in it's not going to look the same as the paint but it'll be fine and that's kind of the cool thing about this is that it's not all the same And there is my head. So now we have our two body parts and we have our head. For the body parts, um, we're gonna come in later on once this is glued down and we'll add some claws and different things. Um, you could add some lines for fur, but I don't think we need to. I think that's kind of the fun of the texture. So for right now, these two are kind of done. Then for this one, what we need to do is we need to um, focus on what the face is gonna look like. 
And the first thing I like to do is connect the top part of the head to the side of the head. So basically we're gonna draw a line that kind of curves here. And I hope it's dark enough that you can see it at home. Um, we'll maybe zoom in here. There we go, that'll make more sense. So we have a line that I just drew here and we're gonna do the same thing over on this one. Okay. Then we're gonna look at the shape that we made for the ear. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a smaller little hill and we're gonna color that in. This is gonna be the inside of the ear for the bear. And I wanna to try to make them similar in size. So this one could be a little bit bigger, All right? And then with this, we're going to, we have a circular head. We're going to make a smaller circle, um, not in the center, but down a little bit. So if this is the center, we're gonna move down here and we're gonna make a circle. Watch me do it first. And this is kind of a, a way of making it snout or its nose. So we're going to make a little line on the top right here. Whoops. So it's a little black line. I'm trying to figure out the lighting in here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make like an upside down triangle. So it's going to come down and then go up. So basically you made a V shape. And from the bottom of that upside down triangle, we're gonna make a little line. And then we're gonna make a horizontal line and that's gonna be its mouth. All right, you can color in your nose if you want. Mine looks like that. And then I like to just do a basic circle for the eyes. We don't need to get too complicated. We could spend two more classes making this look more realistic, but I don't think we need to. Um, and then if you want to put a couple of little lines for hair, again, you don't have to, but you can. Uh, this could be done with permanent marker too, but sometimes the paint dries out the permanent marker, so I really like the black crayon. Um, you could also experiment with white crayon if you want. Um, that might give you a totally different look. Um, I did black just for the sake of everyone being able to see um, my lines. So I'm going to zoom back out. Okay. Now I'm going to show you first how we are going to be attaching this um, to our picture. What we're gonna wanna do is place one part of the body all the way over to the right side, okay? And we don't wanna put it up in the air because then it looks like it's jumping. Um, and I have not um, seen a bear jump up and down um, and get that much air. So we wanna lower it so that it is in um, the grass, okay? You can lower it all the way down if you want, totally up to you. but its feet need to be in the grass somewhere. All right, next, we are going to place this one at the same height, but we're gonna slide it over that direction, All right? And you can decide how much you want that slid over. You could do it like this. It could also be down a little bit, okay? The first one, these are its back two legs, and these are its front two legs. So it goes on there like that. And then its head goes off on the left hand side like that. And it should look like it's walking. Okay. So now I usually tell my kindergartners um, when we're doing something like this that has all these parts is I want you to take them all off and I want you to try to put them back on one more time so that you're used to how you're gonna do it because the next time we do it, we're gonna be doing it with glue. All right, so I have 
My first piece goes down all the way over to the right side. My second piece goes a little bit off centered or off to the left. All right, so if I do it this way, I can see all four legs. And then my head is going to kind of go right up above this leg, all right? And I don't want to put it too low. I could, um, but I like it a little bit with the ears popping up. All right, so now we're going to take all those pieces off, okay? And the nice thing is, is one side's white, the other side's brown, so they're totally different. So this way we don't put glue on the brown side. So I'm going to take it, flip it over, right? And when I glue now, I'm going to do a nice outline. So one hand's holding the paper, the other hand has a slant on that glue bottle again. Um, I know you've heard this now 10 times, but um, we want to make sure that we're holding it with that angle and this orange part needs to touch the paper. And if you do that, you should have just as much control as you have with your pencil. If the glue is coming out fast, you go faster. If it's coming out slow, then you go slower. And a kindergartner who said, Mr. Lonzek, I'm weak. I can't glue like that. And if you have the glue bottle open enough, um, you shouldn't need to really squeeze at all. So strength really doesn't matter. Um, and I looked at the kindergartner and they were holding the glue bottle straight up and down. And so they were actually clogging the hole. Um, they were doing everything right, except for when they were touching the paper, they didn't have the slanted angle. They were straight up and down. And so it was actually clogging the hole and no air could get through and no glue could come out. So that was part of the problem. All right, so again, now I'm a pro and I know exactly where all these pieces go because we practiced. I pushed this one all the way almost to the other side, make sure that it's not hanging off. Um, glue that one on. Now I grab this one, I flip it over. And we want to get close to the edge, but not right on the edge. That way our glue stays on our paper and doesn't ooze off um, onto the sheet of paper that we're gluing it on. And um, we want it to stay behind our paper. So now I'm holding it with two hands. I'm coming over the top, making sure I have it where I want it. And then I can lower it down. And because this paper has um, paint on it, we're gonna to wanna to hold this down for a little while. And after we're done gluing all three pieces, then we'll actually flip it over and rub it. All right, so the last one, make sure to do your ears. Go all the way around. And if you do it right, you shouldn't need any glue in the inside. So again, that's what my glue looks like. And with this one, I again, hold it with two hands kind of see how it's going to look. And then once I have it where I want it, slowly lower it down and now hold it. Okay, and after you do this for a little bit, you can take the whole thing, flip it over, and then rub the whole thing down. All right. And when you're all done, you have a um, nice glued down bear. Now save this. Um, we're not going to submit it yet because we're going to do a couple things once the glue's all dry next week. So um, enjoy your four day weekend on uh, Easter weekend. Um, and I'll see you guys the following week. Bye.